neighborhood doesn't want to lose its green space. Good evening, I'm Ryan Mastry. And I'm Lauren Taylor. Thanks for joining us. As Roger Hamer shows us, neighbors feel the development plan is being forced upon them with no input. I've never heard anyone in my neighborhood say, well, we need to do something with that thing down there. That thing is known as the Sunks. Drivers on Happy Hollow Boulevard north of Underwood have seen it for decades. It is a narrow open area adorned with trees and a play space for kids. The original design wanted this as a buffer zone of green space. It's not a park, it's passive relaxation. But there is a plan to develop that space. So neighbors are upset they weren't consulted about options for the land. Three individuals uh, on their own, on their own self-initiative, began the fundraising and did the design. And there was no consensus in the neighborhood and there's quite a large consensus now against it. We really would have enjoyed having some communication before the plan went so far. Michael Brownstein says he spoke with numerous neighbors in the area about the proposal. I haven't run across very many people who have received any communication from the developers. It was mostly done on a level that kind of uh, missed the residents. I've yet to hear a good reason, at least from my view, and I'm sure they're well-intentioned. Ernie Goss lives just up the street. I think it's a solution looking for a problem, and this is not a problem. Neighbors say the development means the elimination of several trees with permanent concrete structures, walls, and sidewalks taking their place. They believe it would destroy a unique feature of the neighborhood. We're really trying to save all this green space. Roger Hamer, 6 News. We contacted a number of key players in this plan, and all of them told us that they were unavailable for comment. There is a meeting in about a half hour tonight at Dundee Presbyterian Church at 53rd in Underwood.